welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing my one week lock update. Um, so I got my locks done on February 17th, 2017. That's my last birthday. Um, and then my one week would be uh, February 24th. Um, I really haven't seen much of a difference with my locks um, from Saturday to today. Um, I would say like this one in the front is like kind of curling up and doing its own thing. And then just like a lot more like um, frizz I guess you would say. Um, I'm really happy with the parting because like it's not perfect and I didn't want my parts to be perfect. Um, so I'm really happy with that. As far as them laying, I have been having a few that have kind of been like sticking out more. I'm not sure if that's because um, of how I'm like wrapping them. But I know like on the right side of my head, they're like more like curled and kind of like more doing their own thing. Um, so I'm going to try to wrap them a different way. I just use like a silk scarf and wrap my hair. Um, but yeah, I really haven't seen much of a difference. I've just been having like some flaking from the gel that um, my stylist used. I don't know what it was. It was like it was like a black jar. Um, and then, so when I was at the salon, like I saw what she had used because she, um, she did like three rows before I saw what she was using. And I, I was I wasn't upset, but I was kind of like disappointed because um, this one guy, Damien something. Um, I'll put his name on the bottom. But um, on one of his YouTube videos, he was like, you like you shouldn't be using like beeswax or like that black gel. Like it's not black gel, but like the jar is black. Can't remember what it's called. But when she, I saw she was using it, I was like, <sighs> but I mean on the flip side, like my locks have, um, they haven't had any frizz really, like on the actual lock, and not very much shrinkage, and they haven't unraveled. So I mean. I don't really know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, um, but yes, yeah, so I just been having flaking from the gel on my scalp. Um, that's kind of been the only, the only thing. Um, I will say that I've really been considering like retwisting it on my own because it's only week one and like the flakes are really bothering me. So I'm thinking about doing a retwist maybe like next weekend. Or maybe three weeks, I don't know. Um, the people that I know who have locks were telling me not to wash them. And my stylist told me not to wash them for at least a month. So I'm going to try to hold out. But, like, the flakiness is really getting to me. Um, everything else, like, I'm a low-maintenance girl. So everything else isn't bothering me at all. It's just the flaking. I don't really like it. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions for, like, a product that I could use to help with the flaking. Or, um, I don't know, like, an oil or something. I'm not really sure what to use. But I wanted to take a minute and talk about my salon experience, getting my starter locks. So my experience was not the best, unfortunately. Um, yeah, like, so I went to somebody that um, a co-worker of mine had gone to. And my co-worker's locks looked really good, so I was, like, excited to go there and get my locks done. And mine actually looked good, so it's not about how they look. Like, I love how my locks look. But... It was just the service was so bad at that salon. <sighs> and I'm never going back. But okay, so first of all, the address on the business card did not match the address on the door. And that was so frustrating for me because I'd never been there before. And it was in a suite full of salons, so like maybe like six or seven salons. <sighs> so finally, I figure out where it's at. And then my stylist was 15 minutes like late to my appointment, which, I don't know, that's just really irritating to me. That's a really bad first impression. Um, and honestly, within that first 15 minutes, I was contemplating leaving just because, like, I don't know. That's just a big thing for me, it's like being on time, especially if you're running a business. Um, but I stayed because I was like, I'm here now. I, I, I chose this day as a special day to get my locks done. Um, because my birthday is January 17th, so I wanted to do it one month later, so I stayed. Um, so when I finally did get into the chair to get my, my locks done, she was also working on somebody else, which that's just a pet peeve of mine. I mean, I understand, like, as a stylist, you can't just be focused on one person, but it's just such a pet peeve of mine, right? 
So, um, we're her name's other guy, and he was getting his locks done, and so she did, like, a deep conditioner on me, and then she had to sit me in a salon, um, like, three doors down, like, within her own suite, because if there's already somebody under a dryer in her salon, and so if I sat in there, then the fuse would blow. So, I was like, okay, cool, so I go in there, and I sit, and, um, I'm sitting on the dryer, and 15 minutes go by. 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes go by and I just get really irritated and I turn off the dryer and go back to the salon. And um, one of the stylists was like, I was wondering, we were just talking about you, I was wondering where you were at, like, we, you're only supposed to be on the dryer for 15 minutes, so, I don't know, that, that just, I was just irritated. So finally when I did get my locks done, um, she did a good job of my locks. She did them in like 30 minutes. Um, sat under the dryer and was out. Maybe like that last 45 minutes. So I was there from 4.30, I think. Like 4.45 until like 9.30. So over, all in all, I probably wouldn't go back there. But, you know, she did a good job of my locks. Um, hopefully... My next experience will be better. Um, I've been seeing a lot of girls who their locks look really big. And I'm wondering if that's because they use the, the two strand twist and I use the coil method. So we'll see. Um, I'm happy with them so far though. They're really easy and simple. Um, I'm looking forward to this journey with my locks. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye.